Today we're gonna take a photo to outer space and then we're gonna color grade it. Hey there, my name is Ali. You can do today's tutorial by just taking any photo of yourself next to a window. Okay, let's get started. These photos are available in the description. You can also follow along with us. Okay, this is my first photo. It's like next to a window and I just cut the window out of it. Okay, now I'll drag the other photo. It's like earth and moon and everything. Okay, press OK. Now I'm gonna put it below of it. Okay, now we have our photo, but then I want to change one thing about this photo. I'm going to drag that lens flare. I'll flip it horizontal. And I'll change the blending mode to screen so that the black is invisible. Okay, I'll put it somewhere here. It will like grab attention more to the earth. But then I want it to be blue. So I'm going to go to hue and saturation and link it below. And keep moving until I get the blue color. This one. Maybe more. Yeah, something like that is blue. And I'll just reduce the saturation a little bit of it. It's too colorful compared to the environment. Okay. Now I'm going to stand on my layer. Do one thing. Because we have this edge. Which I don't like. So I'm going to go to curves adjustment. If I make the blacks blacker. And it's on screen mood the edges will disappear so once i keep making it like darker the edges will start to disappear like that and then i can make this even brighter okay now we have our lens flare oh wait i'll reduce the opacity of the lens flare itself if it's too strong okay now i'll bring back my first layer okay now i want to make sure they're like the both both colors so they can blend together this one is so like different so i'm gonna start working on the on it i'll add a hue and saturation layer make sure it's linked below i'll just reduce the saturation a little bit i'll do that like for a start so i can work like start coloring it by myself okay now i'm gonna add a curves adjustment make sure it's like linked this is too bright actually compared to a night so i'm gonna just pull the blacks a little bit and i'll darken it up a lot from here and now it's a little bit too contrasty, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also pull my highlights down. So it's all like dark. You see the highlights are like the places where the white is. Now I'm taking these parts, making them a little bit dark. Okay, now we darken it a little bit. Let's try like working with colors. I'll also do it with the curves adjustment. I'll go to the red channel. The opposite of red is cyan. So if I add cyan, it will take away the red and start adding cyan. Then I'll go to my blue channel. I'll add some blue to the photo. Okay. I'll add another curves adjustment. It's not like blue enough. I'll add a curves adjustment. Link it. Go again to the blue channel. I'll add in the shadows some blue. But don't go like too strong with it. And even in the highlights, I'll add some blue. Now we have like blue all over the place. Okay, but this blue is still not exactly as that one. This one actually, if you see, like if you make a new layer and just use the color to pick colors, this one is more in the cyan. This one is more in the like magenta. This is more cyan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a curves adjustments and now I'm gonna go to the green channel. The opposite of green is magenta. So we want to make it more greenish and like less magenta. So I'm going to pull it a little bit towards the green. Okay, now it's much better, but still it needs some work. I'll make sure I link it below first. first. Then I guess this one needs to be like a little bit more vibrant. So I'm going to add vibrance, link it, increase the vibrance. Now it's much like better, something like that. It still needs blue. I'm gonna go to color balance, link it below and just add some blue. Okay, I guess now we're good. Maybe I'll add a little bit of cyan also. Yeah, now it's matching. Okay. 
Okay, one more thing I wanna do, I wanna emphasize a little bit on the highlights because the parts near the window should be like brighter and have more blue. So I'm gonna add a curves adjustment layer, link it. I'll take only my highlights, make them brighter. And I'll take my blues. In the highlights, I'll add blue and I'll go to my reds. In the highlights, I'll add cyan. Okay, but this is like too much and it's affecting all the photos. So I'm gonna stand on the layer mask, press Control I. Now it's inverted. I will take my brush with a white brush and a low opacity. Whenever I'm gonna paint now, this effect will be applied. So if I paint here, it will be brighter, more blue and more cyan. It's a very subtle effect, like you can barely see it, but you know, it's all like about the details. Yeah, now at the, like, the highlights we have, you see, it's like more blue and more bright. Okay, now for the last thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Control, Alt and Shift, then press E. It will merge everything into a new separate layer. Now I can go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Now I'll edit like the whole bunch. Okay, I can add a little bit of contrast. Maybe I'll reduce the shadows a little bit. The clarity, I'm gonna reduce the clarity. I want it to be like more soft. Maybe some vibrance, add a little bit of color. And in the FX module, I'm gonna add a little bit of vignette. And if you wanna like try different colors, you can go to the camera calibration and then you can play around with every color. You can go this or that, then you can go with this or that, and here it will make it like more cyan or more purple. I like this one actually, when I reduce it, it makes it like less blue and more natural, a little bit. Okay, so reducing this actually worked, okay. Now I'm gonna press Ctrl Z to show you before, after, before, after. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys, you can like take your own photo and do this effect with it and send it to me and I'll like on Instagram I will link my Instagram like somewhere here in the screen make sure you send it to me and I'll shout you out on Instagram